What's up, everybody? Renfail here, and it's time to talk Cyberpunk 2077, the 2.0 update in all of its glory, and it is absolutely glorious. Um, this is the precursor to Phantom Liberty, which, as of this recording is launching tonight at midnight, I'm recording this on the 25th of September. I've been playing Update 2.0 since it dropped a few days ago, and I'm about 30 hours into the game so far. I just finished the transmission quest live on a stream, um, and I am primed and ready to go for the Phantom Liberty drop, which I will be starting tomorrow when the game uh, officially is live. Now, it actually goes live tonight at midnight, but I'm not going to be staying up for that. So tomorrow morning, I'll be streaming this. But let's talk update 2.0. I kind of want to do a review of it because I originally played the game back in uh, launch, at launch when it first launched, December of 2020, I think is when it was, so almost three years ago. And I've been very public about this fact. I played it on the PS4 Slim when it launched. It was a horrible buggy mess. Blue screen crashes left and right, tons of optimization issues, the game would constantly freeze and lock out, and despite all of that, I still had a great time, because at its core, it was a really fun story, and I really liked what they were doing in terms of bringing elements of like Keanu Reeves and his ARC motorcycles into the game, and the tabletop experience, and the story that's there, and all of the lore and everything else, with some of the trademark stuff that CD Projekt Red uh, was known for, which is great storytelling and amazing quests. And as good as that game was, even though it was a buggy hot mess, this, the 2.0 experience, is literally a completely different game. Yes, the core story is still there. Um, you've still got everything with um, Johnny Silverhand and the story of what's going on. I don't want to spoil any of it here in this episode. But everything else, like all of the mechanics surrounding the game, the gunplay, the vehicle driving, all of that, like the net running skills and, and all of the way the combat works and the police system and, and just everything else was revamped from the ground up over the last uh, two and a half, almost three years. And the release of the 2.0 update had a lot of people going, well, how exactly is it going to play? And I, I can tell you, at least from my experience, I am on the Xbox Series X, and it has been a flawless experience to date. Like, flawless. No crashes, no jank, no nothing. Like, I haven't seen a single thing. Um, other than one, I guess there's one exception to that would be I crashed my bike into the middle of a, a crowded market stall and it sort of like hit a light and exploded. And when it did, like all of the shaders and lighting around me started flickering constantly. We did this on a live stream the other day and it was everything was flickering until I reloaded the game and then all the textures and lights were back to normal. So, that you know, that was a weird thing. But other than that, zero issues at all. No scrap, no crashes, no jank, no nothing. Smooth as silk. I I've tried the uh, the performances out of this world. I've tried both the ray tracing mode and the performance mode. Um, and what I've decided to do for my own, just for me, when I'm exploring and I'm doing just normal stuff and I'm recording videos and everything else, I really love the way the ray tracing looks. But I will admit that when it comes to the FPS combat, I, I would much prefer to have the 60 frames just because it feels better to me if I'm able to move about the battlefield at a quicker pace. So I like performance option when I know I'm going to be going into um, really hairy situations and I want to be able to move quickly. But other than, you know, either one of those options works great and it's as smooth as silk no matter what. Um, but some of the things I think that are just amazing with this game is like, um, I'm 30 hours in right now. Um, we are, I've already maxed out my, um, my intelligence tree. I'm doing a net runner tech build with stealth on the, the back burner. So I've got 20 points already into my intelligence and I've already maxed my way off the core tree. I've got, uh, I think 17 or 18 points in tech. So I only need a few more points to get to tech. I'm like level 30 or something right now. Um, and, and my street creds up around 40. Um, I'm about 30 hours into the game at this point. I've been running around doing main quests and side quests and just sort of, I wanted to get to the point where I was ready for, um, 
the Phantom Liberty launch. So this morning during the live stream, I made sure to run through the last few quests with the Voodoo Boys to get the transmission quest out of the way to get ready for the actual launch of this. But then we still have the entire rest of the game to explore, and I'm working on a completionist mode at this point. So I've been running around doing lots of side quests and things, and I've been testing out like the new police feature, which is absolutely amazing just to see it go up in you know, rank so that you can start off at one star, the couple coming after you, two stars, three stars. When they get to three or four stars, it's really hard to get away from the police. They're setting up checkpoints. They're sending drones after you. They're sending all these cars after you. And it's like watching, you know, cops on TV where the car chases and everything else. That feels great. Um, I love the auto fixer now. You can pick up cars from anywhere in your apartment. The new skill system and perk system and attribute system is redesigned from the ground up, and it feels very, very, very good. Um, I have absolutely been just loving my Netrunner build, and I don't even have... Like, my cyberware is not that great. Like, I've been just racking up credits for, like, the last 15 hours of gameplay, and I've got, like, 150,000 credits at this point. But i got a, quite a few open slots with my cyberware, and i got to go sort that out. So we're going to be working on getting my quick hacks and everything else um, upgraded um, probably tomorrow morning um, as I dive into Phantom Liberty when it goes live. But um, I, I would have to say that uh, just based off of 30 hours of gameplay so far... Um, from everything I've seen of 2.0, thus, uh, th with the performance and the changes and everything else, it's a 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10. I wish, I wish, wish, wish that this could have been the game that they launched with, you know, two and a half, three years ago, close to three years ago. If they would have launched the game in this state, CD Projekt Red never would have had the, um, you know, the, the, the issues that they had with people, you know, and rightfully so, calling them out on the horrific launch of Cyberpunk when it came to last-gen consoles. Now, when Cyberpunk launched, it was great on PC, it was great on PS5 and, and Series X, but everybody who was on old-gen consoles got screwed, um, and, and, you know, they got pulled off the PlayStation Store. That, like, never happens. But despite all of that, I still always maintained it was a great game. Even with all of those issues, it was a great game. And they've taken that core foundation, and they've spent another two and a half years and... I keep saying two and a half, but we're closing in on three years in a couple of months. Um, they have made the game. Quick commercial break, everyone, to give a shout out to our first official guild officer, Bubblonia, as well as all of the guild champions, and of course, all of the members who help keep me on the air full time. To join as a member, simply click that join button below and pick your tier, but you can also support with super chats on any live stream or premiere, or super thanks on any upload or YouTube short. Don't forget the Discord. Let's get back to the video the way it should have been when it launched. They've added all these new features. Um, they've gotten the optimization under control. Um, it looks amazing. It feels amazing. It plays amazing. The combat is extremely reactive. I absolutely love it. There's so many things going on. And the fight, I'm just on like the normal mode. And like I did the Sasquatch fight earlier today in the morning um, on the live stream. And I got my butt kicked like twice. I had to do that fight three different times, even just on normal mode. Like it legitimately, there's challenge here. There's a lot of different ways to go on and, and do fights. You have to worry about your weapons and, and, and weapon mods and your hacking and net running if you want to. But the cool thing is, too, is that you can spec your character however you want and come up with, like, like the first time I played the game, I did just a complete stealth build. And this time around, I'm actually doing a net runner primary with tech on the back end so I can use smart guns. It's And, and um, there's some cool stuff with with tech and intelligence with those two blends with smart weapons and cyber hack and their cyberware and the things you can do with your cyberware for your smart guns. And there's abilities that you can link with your, your, your net running to your smart guns. It's so cool. And then on the back of all of that, I've got points into, into cool for stealth. Um, and I've got, mods on my weapons and things that are allowing me to bump up my stealth level so I can still primary what I usually do is I go in and I do a little bit of stealth at the beginning until I get caught and then I revert to my smart weapon and 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 rifles and go from there and it's been an absolutely amazing experience like I said 30 hours in I'm barely scratching the surface of update 2.0, but I'm confident in saying because I've already played the game, I've already actually experienced the story, so I know what's ahead of me in terms of the general story beats and everything else, I can say without a shadow of a doubt that the 2.0 
experience for me is a 10 out of 10. I think this is an amazing game. Um, even if you don't play Phantom Liberty and you just want to play the base Cyberpunk 2077 as it is right now with the 2.0 changes to it, all those changes were free, by the way. I think you get access to everything other than the Relic system with the 2.0 update. And the Relic system is something that's unique to the story aspect of the Phantom Liberty DLC. But you could still come in here and get a couple hundred hours of a completionist journey or more if you wanted to just into the base game with the 2.0 update. And I highly recommend that you do because it's a hell of a lot of fun. And I can't wait for it. Phantom Liberty dropping tomorrow. We're going to be live streaming. We're going to be doing Let's Play videos and more. So make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. Check out the Discord. Links are down below. Daily streams at 11 a.m. Everybody, check out all the other playlists. We'll see you in the next video. Peace!